Okay guys, welcome to my channel. If you haven't been here, I do a lot of car stuff. Uh, this is my Pioneer. I'm going to show you the backside and how I kind of hooked up the uh, the amplifier or how I'm going to hook up an amplifier to this. And uh, I'm going to show you the RCA pre-outs and stuff and, and what I did to uh, connect this stereo. Got a lot of questions on it. Uh, but if you would, please, if, in case you forget, please subscribe. I have about, you know, I'm halfway there to my magic number that I got to hit to get monetized. If you can help me out, please subscribe and like. Uh, it does a lot for me. It doesn't cost you anything. I really appreciate it. I'm getting about 4K views on all of my videos, 4K, 5K, even 10K. If I were to just get 1,000 of those, you know, and I'm almost there, help me out. Please subscribe. Um, first of all, I'm going to start off here with the uh, harness I bought. So this, this here, this block here is the harness, and this part here, what you see right here, is the original factory harness. That's what connected to the radio harness that this came with, that the truck radio, the original truck radio came with. Um, so this harness I bought separate, I just plugged it in here, that way if I ever decide to go back to the original radio, which I do have, I can take this one out, uh, just disconnect this and then plug in the original one and I'm done it's that quick uh, because if you don't buy this here which only costs about 10 bucks uh, you can get it at any car place I've got I've, I've seen them at Walmart I've seen them at O'Reilly's I've seen them at uh, AutoZone just 10 bucks because if you don't do that you got to figure out which is power which is left right which is the front speakers which is the the, the uh, alternate battery source you know it's a hassle just to save 10 bucks you're better off getting this and you'll save a lot of headaches okay because once you plug it in then when you get these um, wires from the radio this is from the stereo now you can see how it goes to the stereo up in here um, you just connect pretty much yellow to yellow green to green purple to purple and that's it what I'm going to be doing today is I'm hooking up uh, an amplifier and as you can see this is antenna so I'm going to connect this to the antenna and it's going to give it some power to turn on the amp so when I turn on the uh, the truck it's going to turn on the amplifier for me okay and I'm going to show you what's in the back here in a second okay all right so this is pretty much it guys <clears throat> as you can see you have some wires here this one here is to my backup camera this one here is for the auxiliary and then these two here are going to be the RCA jacks that go back to the amp. And then, I'll, this one here, I was wrong earlier when I said it was this one that I was going to connect. It was actually this one here. It even tells you remote. System remote control. So this is going to go back to the uh, amp that will supply power to the amp to turn on. I do have another supply for the amp that comes obviously uh, for the for the base and stuff but this is basically just a turn on turn off switch and um, here on this side is the if you can see it this side here that's the antenna you can see right there that's the antenna and this little one here that little circle that's where you'll put a mic like a microphone and I'm going to connect that it's actually up here this is the microphone right there so that's what goes connected there. So, and then like I said earlier, this is the harness that I showed you earlier. And these are the wires, all these wires are the ones that are connected to the stereo. So it's really, really plug and play. It's a lot easier if you do it this way. So I'll, I'll put it right there for a second so you can see. It looks like a lot of wires, but it isn't, you know. So if you got any questions on this, please let me know. And uh, I'll show you the results in a minute here, what I'm doing. All right, so everything's been put back together. Here's the uh, RCA jacks right here. And then the other wire. It should be blue, but I didn't have blue, so I'm using black. It's my truck. I can do what I want. Uh, if I do sell the truck, I take the stereo system out because it's mine. So in any case, I'm going to use black for the, um, for the uh, wire, the accessory wire to turn on the amp. And I will show you back here. There's the amp that I installed. It's a uh, one channel. You can see right there, it says one channel. It's 1500 watts. 
It's not for a big amp, a big uh, speaker, but hey, it's gonna do the trick. Give me the bass that I want. And this wire is run straight to the battery, and then I have this, of course, and then this has even more fuses. And then you have your wires here, and it connects to the other side. Let me move my stuff here. As you can see, there it is. And the remote wire is gonna go connected to the middle here. And then the RCA jacks are gonna go connected to the RCA jacks over here. And then I can connect my woofer and bada bing, we're done. Okay, and uh, one of the things um, that I've learned, you know, cause there's too many tools involved, I know it sounds silly, but I got me, this little set has all the ratchets and screwdrivers and everything you need. It's just a real small 65 piece screwdriver bit set is what it's called. Man, I paid I think $15 for it at Walmart. And of course, you know, your wire snippers and just got some extra, you know, an extra driver in case I need it. And of course the good old scotch tape. I know it's not what it is, electrical tape. So anyways, this is the final result here. If anybody has any idea what I can do with this, I could have put it, I guess, under the dash in the front, and then it would have looked cleaner here. Or maybe I can tuck this uh, under the seat, uh, you know, with some zip tie or something. I don't know. But uh, if you guys got any ideas, let me know. But that's where this ended up being connected to. And then the other wire, the remote wire, got connected back here. You can see the, the black goes there. Then this is your constant power. And this is your negative. And that's pretty much it, guys. So, these, this wire here that you see, or these two connections that I didn't mention, those are just your left, right, that go out to the subwoofer. And the subwoofer is going to go underneath this seat here. So... Again, like and subscribe, guys. Um, I got to get the woofer now. I haven't bought the woofer. I, I have a sub, but it's too big. It doesn't fit under there, so I got to make a box or either order one. So, again, please like and subscribe if you like everything you saw. As you can see, everything looks clean. It's hidden under the rail here. It runs underneath there. Everything's connected. It looks real sweet. The radio that the 207s come with suck. So, this looks a lot cleaner, and it's, it looks updated. So... Let me know if you got any questions. Thank you.